Hey everybody, Rich here. In this video I'm going to show you how to use IcoFX to make custom icons that you can use as fav icons for your website or if you're programming your own application and need an icon file, this is the way to do it. IcoFX is freeware and it obviously works on Windows 7 as you see here and it is available from ICOFX. R O. It's not a dot com, it's R O. So uh, if you want to go get the software, it says it right here, icofx.ro. So anyway, the way to make icons, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, an icon file that has multiple resolutions in it. Uh, I have two images here that I just plopped on my desktop. One is the Florida state flag and one is the flag for the city of Tampa, Florida. So we'll do the Florida flag. Now if I open it up, the first thing it prompts is that what color depth do you want? And you can put in, uh, actually you can put in as many dimensions as you want, but 16 by 16, 24 by 24, 32, 32, 48, 48, and 256 by 256 are the five general sizes that are used for uh, most applications and websites. Now for websites in particular, the only one you need is 16 by 16 because fave icons, uh, to the best of my knowledge, there is no browser currently that shows icons above that size. But I'm going to go ahead and just do all of them here and show you how to do it. So, uh, but if you wanted to do just one, just for a fave icon for a website, 16 by 16 is the only one you need. But let's start with the 256 by 256. It first gives you an option to resize or crop and uh, the image is fine the way it is, so I'm just going to hit OK. And now I have a 256 by 256 icon file, but I want to add in all the other sizes. So if this was an application icon, for example, it would have uh, everything from 16 all the way to 256. If you wanted to add a super huge icon size, like a 512 by 512, such as for Mac OS X, and by the way, yes, IcoFX can export Macintosh specific icons, which is cool. So even if you're on a Windows platform and want to make Mac icons, absolutely you can do it. Just hit the one if you want for Windows, if you want for Mac, or you can do both. It doesn't matter. So anyway, in this left sidebar here, I'm going to right click and left click import image. And I'm just going to import the same one over again. And this time I'm going to select 48 by 48 and hit OK. Right click again, import same one, 32 by 32. And if you're wondering if you can add different images within the same icon file, yes you can. Uh, this is excuse me, this is particularly good if it's an application. Now you notice this is looking more blocky uh, the smaller I get. That's by design because it's zoomed into 1600. If I was actually to zoom to 100%, that's actually what it looks like. That's the 32 by 32. What this window does is that it auto sizes in case you want to perform edits or something like that with the toolbar here. So you wanted to add in a piece of text or line or a shape, you can do it that way. So anyway, let's move on. Uh, right click, import image, same image again, and 24 by 24. And finally, import image, one more time, 16 by 16. And that little itty bitty one there is what it's going to look like. So as a fave icon, this is zoomed into 3200%. So yes, it looks very blocky. But the point is it's zoomed in. The preview window on the right side or over here is uh, what the actual size is going to be. So now I'm done. So all I want to do is save this. Now I can hit the Windows one and you have all these different choices as far as what you want to export for XP 256 color, 16 color. IcoFX really has it laid out in a very nice way when you want maximum control over icon export or import for that matter. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do a simple file and uh, save as. And the default is a Windows icon.ico. So if you want to save a fave icon, F-A-V-I-C-O-N.ICO, you could do it this way. Or you could do a Macintosh icon, uh, .ICNS for icons. And then you just save your file. And that's all you have to do. Now, 
here's the real quick and dirty way if you wanted to do just a fave icon, the 16 by 16. I'm going to close this one and do the Tampa flag here. Just the 16 by 16, true color, OK. Uh, you do any crop cropping or resizing if you have to from here. I'm not going to bother. It shows what the preview is going to look like. Hit OK. There's only one image, 16 by 16, file, save as, save it as a Windows ICO file. Done. You've got your fav, uh, fav icon dot ICO at that point. And yeah, it is that easy. And if you're wondering, can you take any image and turn it into a fav icon? Yes, you can. Um, you can also pull in uh, icon imagery from other applications. Like if you wanted to load in the Firefox icon, for example, from Firefox.exe, yes, you can do that with IcoFX. Uh, it's a really great program for doing stuff like this. So even though uh, applications like Photoshop and uh, GIMP can do a whole lot more in the editing department when it comes, and they also can do icons as far as I'm aware, IcoFX I still keep installed because it's just easy. It's really easy just for quick import and export. And by the way, if you take in an image from uh, an icon file and you want to just export it as, say, a JPEG, a, a GIF, or a PNG file, export image, and you can choose from bitmap, JPEG, ping, GIF, or even JPEG 2000s, GP2s. So uh, I, I recommend having it. Uh, if you do any sort of web design at all, or even if you're just experiment, experimenting with it, IcoFX is definitely one to have uh, installed in your computer. Small, light, fast, works in Windows XP, Vista 7, 32-bit, 64-bit, doesn't matter. It will work. It's great to have.